friends, welcome or welcome back to Miss Pope's classroom. Today we're going to talk about something that may sound hard, but you're going to love it. It's called visualization. So, what is visualization? It is creating an imaginary picture in your mind from what you have read, have written, or have heard. You might be wondering why it's important to study visualization. Let's look at the three reasons. First, it makes reading more exciting to have a mental picture. Second, students can listen to stories and have a better understanding of what's happening. And finally, it makes illustration easier when you learn to create a picture in your mind first. Okay, are you ready? You're going to listen to some sentences and create a picture in your mind. On a cold January morning, my father and I played in the snow. I love having a park so close to my house. It is just as fun to swing and slide in the summer as it is in the morning of our first snowy day of the school year. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to create an imaginary picture in your mind. Does the picture you created in your mind look a little something like this picture? Do you see the things that you heard in the story that helped you create the picture? Like a little girl playing with her father in the snow, or the fact that there are swings and a slide in the picture. How was that? Was it hard to create a picture in your mind? Let's try several more and practice visualization. My brother and I were so happy. Not only did we both get what we asked for this holiday, we got to spend time with people we love. We could not have asked for a more cozy, special day. All right, make an imaginary picture in your mind for the next few seconds. Does the picture in your mind look anything like the picture you see on the screen? There are some clues that told us it was cozy, you see a fire, it was the holiday, you see the tree, and that there are loved ones with the girl and the boy. Okay, listen to this story and paint a picture in your mind. I heard a pop and I opened my eyes. My bedroom was so dark. The only light I could see was a thin sliver of moonlight. I jumped out of my bed to go find my parents, but it was so, so dark. I stopped in the middle of my room and I could not move. I'm so glad my sweet kitty was there to give me a bit of comfort. All right, it's time that you paint a mental picture in your mind. Poor thing, she looked so scared. Does the picture you created in your mind look anything like this picture? Can you see the clues? There's a dark room. She's too scared to move. Do you see the sliver of moonlight? And of course, her sweet kitty to give her comfort. All right, last one. My family loves to travel. Every summer we take off together for a new adventure. This summer, we are visiting the most famous landmark in India. Every adventure starts off the same way. My mom loves to capture every moment. We have hundreds of pictures of our trip. My dad is the planner. He always wants to make sure we are on time and headed in the right direction. And I love every single moment of it. Okay, paint a mental picture in your mind. I'll give you 10 seconds. Does the picture in your mind look anything like the picture that you see on the screen before you? This one might have been a little bit harder. The Taj Mahal is the most famous landmark in India. And do you see that dad is making sure he's planning? Mom is capturing all the images and the little one loving every moment of it. You did great learning about visualization. The next time you read a book, Create an imaginary picture in your mind. 
like the channel and subscribe to come back and see me again. I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now, friends.